they don't think that you can do it and that you can sustain it. It's about every man playing hard on every snap. You go out there and you have fun and you hit them right in the mouth. Jerome Dennis had waited 13 years. In his hometown of Detroit, surrounded by a sea of terrible towers, the bus was going on his final ride. Head coach Mike Holmgren won his first Super Bowl with Green Bay. We get it today. Now he was trying to direct Seattle to its first ever title. The Super Bowl is about ready to begin. Here's the run up by Jeff Reed. And Super Bowl 40 is underway. <laughs> Seattle set the tone in the Super Bowl with an up-tempo passing game. Quarterback Matt Hasselbeck kept the Steelers off balance. But drop passes and penalties kept the Seahawks out of the end zone. Hasselbeck has all day, comes up, throws for the end zone, and it's a touchdown for Seattle. Catching the ball in the end zone, they're going to mark her down in the end zone. So it is not caught by Daryl Jackson. Pass interference, number 82. So Daryl Jackson got caught in the back of the end zone, push it off. Midway through the second quarter, Seattle had dominated, but only led three to nothing. It took 19 minutes for Pittsburgh to get its first first down. Then Bill Cowher opened things up. On the reverse, Heinz Ward gained 18 yards. It seemed that the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger had finally found the rhythm. Seattle showing blitz. Play action fake. Ben is back. He's going to air it out. Down the right sideline. The pass will be intercepted at the 17-yard line. Michael Boulware, the strong safety leaping, pulled it down for the interception. With seven minutes left in the half, Ward caught an impromptu shovel pass. And the Steelers were on the move again. Roethlisberger looked to his trusted playmaker again in the hope of taking the lead. For the end zone, the pass is incomplete off the fingertips of Heinz Ward. Very close to being a touchdown. Facing a third and 28, the Steelers were looking to move into field goal range. Instead, they got an improvised game-turning play. Look for an open man. He's going to fire it down the field. The pass will be caught at the three-yard line. The touchdown ruling was immediately challenged by Mike Holmgren. While the officials reviewed it, Ben Roethlisberger and members of both sidelines debated it. A terrible towel waved hopefully overhead. And soon, the decision was rendered. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. You, baby. I dropped that ball. Man. I said, all right, hey, hey. You got the seven, and you know what? You got to make up for it. How about that? After 14 years of trying, Bill Cowher was just 30 minutes away from his first Super Bowl title. The Steelers led at the half, but Bill Cowher derived little satisfaction from their performance. That was not our best half. And you're up 7-3. You got to come out this half, man. Now, I'm telling you. 30 minutes, baby, 30 minutes, let's go. <laughs> and they hand it to Willie Parker, finds a lane, he's on his way, look out. Foot race, 45, 50, Willie Parker, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, Willie, touchdown! Willie Parker, 75 yards, and this place is a Steeler maniac haven. They part it like the Red Sea, baby, good job, baby. That thing opened up so pretty. Did he even get touched? Guard Alan Fanica threw a key block, and the second play from scrimmage in the second half featured textbook blocking from the other members of Pittsburgh's line and a lessening speed from Willie Parker. Etrick Pruitt, the backup free safety, he was no match for fast Willie Parker. Kyler trusted his quarterback, 
And Ben Roethlisberger put his faith in Hines Ward's hands. What a grab at the 48. You know, I keep busting Hines about the fact that he gets manicures, and I'm never going to do that again because only if you have a manicure can you catch a ball on your fingertips off your shoelaces. Hines, that is a hell of a catch. Ward's sticky fingers and Jerome Bettis' nimble feet move the Steelers into position for another touchdown. You can see the bewilderment on the faces of the Seattle Seahawks. They had what they felt was control of this ball game in the first half, and they've lost it. Midway through the third quarter, the Steelers had a chance to take a 21-3 lead. Third and seven at the seven. Ben is back, dumps it off, it's intercepted, look out. Running up the sideline, Kelly Herndon, he's got blockers, he's at the 40, he's at the 50, he's at the 40, he gets a block on Ben. Now, he's going to get tackled inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Ben floated that pass in the flat, Herndon stepped in and was on a roll. That's all right, let's go get it back. Don't worry about that, baby. Three plays after the interception, the NFL's highest scoring team registered its only touchdown of Super Bowl 40. Hasselbeck back, he waits, he looks, he fires for the end zone, there's a man wide open, touchdown Seattle! Touchdown Seahawks! Jeremy Stevens hangs on to this baby! And right when you think the Steelers were starting to put the boots to Seattle, you see momentum is clearly swung to the other side of the field. With players like eventual MVP Hines Ward at their disposal, Bill Cower and offensive coordinator Ken Wisenhunt called their final gadget play of the season. And they pitch it to the left, and now here's the handoff on the reverse to Antoine Randall. Now he's going to throw it down the field. There's a man open. Touchdown, Pittsburgh! Hines Ward! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, baby! The Steelers score for 43 up on a gadget play that they worked on in practice on Friday. That was deep into the bag of the Wisenhunt tricks. Antoine Randall became the first wide receiver to throw a touchdown pass in a Super Bowl. The former quarterback from Indiana gets a touchdown pass to Hines Ward. And the thing that sprung L on that is the block by Ben Roethlisberger. Hey, great hey, block. Hey, hey, That's a great block, baby. Big Ben had a quarterback rating lower than his age. But his big block freed Randall L on the signature play of Super Bowl XL. The Steelers weren't about to celebrate too soon. If you get this, it's over. On what appeared to be a broken play, Pittsburgh clinched its first Super Bowl in 26 years. The bus's football journey had come full circle. Jerome Bettis was ending his career where it began. Big Ben's career has started with a wild ride, and now he's the youngest quarterback to win a Super Bowl. <laughs> 10 years ago, his wife and daughter consoled him when he lost the Super Bowl. <laughs> this time, the Cowers enjoyed a championship embrace. On the count of three, let's give a big high five. Here we go, One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> It's the last man, one. I love you. I love you. I love you, man. You Thank promise, you. man. You came through, man. You're a champion. Thank man. you for everything, Buster. You hear me? This is very so much, man. I'll never forget this. Everybody said they couldn't do it, 
And here they are getting ready to hoist the Lombardi Trophy. I play this game to win a championship. I'm a champion, and I think the bus, the last stop is here in Detroit. The Pittsburgh Steelers, champions of the NFL.